Hey guys, how's it going? I might as well post another video. I'm up. It's pretty late. And I want to talk about um what you probably ever, you ever wonder why when you look at a compressor or fader or an expander or a gate or something like that, whether it's on a console, in a plug-in, on a real piece of gear. Uh, you may see something like, for example, you might see something like this is Lisa's 3630 compressor, and you might see, for example, the threshold here is negative to get to a zero, then it becomes positive, or same thing on a threshold and a gate. It may say negative, whatever, up to zero, then it says positive. Well, let me explain why that is. Let's start with the fader, the best way to explain that on a fader. You'll see here, let's go to let's go to zero. That's bringing you up here to, to zero. This is why you probably see mixers when they bring faders. They always bring them all the way pretty much to Unity game on a lot of faders. You'll see this common. What they're doing is they're bringing the signal of that channel to zero. This is why when you look at EQs, in plugins or whatever, the line starts at zero because anything below zero, anything below zero is attenuating or cutting. So it's the same thing with the fader. When the faders are down, you've cut, you've cut the fader or you attenuated the signal on that channel. It's the same thing. So you, most boards are not at unity. Most of the time you bring them all the way down, you, you've cut that signal or reduce that signal and it will reduce it by so many and so it's negative all anything below zero is negative so as you start to cut the signal down you're bringing it more and more negative that's why the numbers get greater zero five negative five db 10 db 70 whatever all the way down to where this one right here goes all the way down to basically infinity or nothing 60 negative 50 from number 40 negative 30 as you bring it up you're bringing the negative closer to the positive so it brings the signal back up to the, to the normal unity volume level okay um so that's the reason why now you'll see on compressors what happens is you might have a threshold a thresh hold. That means it's holding off until that signal on that channel, once it's holding off, it's not going to compress to until you set the threshold of whenever you bring the volume closer to the signal of the number on the threshold. That's when it says, okay, like for example, here is below 30. So it's not going to compress. Until you bring the signal, the signal gets closer to, let's say, once it gets 30. Once it gets 30 and higher, compressor said, okay, you, let's say your compressor's marked here. You got your threshold set at negative 35. So this is your compressor's threshold. So once you bring, the, once the signal gets to here, bam, it starts to threat, it starts to compress. Okay. Now a gate or an expander works the opposite. So the signal is compressing, but now, the, you know, so there's signal there. As long as there's signal above the threshold, the compressor is going to start compressing and it's going to send the output. Now, once the signal on a, on a gate or an expander drops, so whatever you set the threshold on the expander or gate, let's say you drop the threshold on your expander or your gate to like, for example, let's say we want it to be negative 25 so any above thing above 25 you want the compressor work but anything below that you want the the span of the gate to kick in so once the signal drops below 25 the gate goes once it does this it goes shoot cuts it off so this sp the span of the gate the gate cuts it off the difference between the span and the gate is the gate cuts the signal down slower so it's quiet, it, it quiets it down. It's gonna quiet it down. A gate shuts it off. 
So above the threshold, wherever you set the threshold on the compressor, once the signal gets above that threshold, compress. Wherever you set the, the threshold on a spanner gate, once the signal drops below that fixed number, it gates open, it works. Threshold. So I, I just want to throw that in so you understand how you're setting your gate, your threshold, or you're setting your thresholds for your gate, compressor, limiters, um, expanders, and so forth. Just understand the threshold number is the peak. Anything for anything above a certain threshold number that you set, limiters, compressors are going to start working. Anything below a certain threshold number, gates and expanders are going to work. So there you go. So now you can, un this will make you understand any piece of gear, any plug-in, any channel strip, like the SSL channel strip, and you see the gate or expander or in the compressor on there, and you see the numbers working opposite of the threshold for the compressor, the gate, and they work opposite of each other. So if you look at an SSL, you'll see that's why the, that's why the signals are working opposite, and you're probably wondering that, that well, that's why. So I, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great uh, day, evening, or night. Happy holidays.